गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन माई नेम इज सतीश आरलकर आय एम अ फाउंडर ऑफ विदार्थ सोल्यूशन सो बिफोर गोईंग अहेड आय वुड लाईक टू शेअर माय अर्लियर एक्सपिरियन्स आय स्टार्टेड माय करिअर विथ मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री विथ टाटा मोटर्स अँड वाईल वर्किंग विथ टाटा मोटर्स आय वर्क इन द शॉप फ्लोअर आय वर्क इन द स्टोअर्स पर्चेस and uh, machine maintenance when i was in purchase department i was introduced to sap implementations and while implementing sap i became a sap mm consultant and uh, at the time of implementations so another project came in and i worked on the sap srm that is a supplier relationship management so while working with tata motors i thought that i should change the career into it consulting and then moved my career into satyam computers so i became a sap consultant and uh, working for the customers so while working with customers i have experienced many issues and uh, pain areas from the customer then while working then i moved from uh, satyam to uh, ibm and from ibm i worked with a uh, multinational companies and uh, fortune 500 some of the companies and designing their processes so while working with them i came across in 2017 i was in uh, london of uh, implementing sap for one of my customer and he asked me that uh, 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 satish we have a very very tight budget for the sap implementations and uh, can we identify because when i am i am i wanted to implement some processes in sap i am getting the all the modules together because it is a entire bunch of the all the all the modules so we want to have very very uh, small to the point and fit to use this type of erp or the solutions and um, so that that was in my mind and when i was searching with uh, this solution which is a fit to use and very lean uh, software so i came across erp next and erp next when i in 2017 i came across erp next when i saw the erp next the i like the ui first second thing is in the manufacturing when we are implementing any erp projects what happens is that we have if it is having the limited licenses we involve only few people in the organization so using erp next we can penetrate the implementation till the last person in the organization and that helps with the users belongingness in the implementation so that is my experience while working with this also i worked on sap ecc to s4 hana conversion so this is the new area where sap is getting upgraded to s4 hana and while working with this uh, transition so now in version 15 erp next is enterprise ready so the users those who are using sap currently sap ecc wanted to move ahead with erp next so they can at least they can start with a, a poc first and try with erp next thanks to frappe team and uh, india compliance team so they have they ha they are making this at uh, evolving this uh, erp so this is my learning the fit to use functional while implementing the team should have the functional knowledge and a deep understanding of the business so we have and another one more point is that i have not mentioned here but reliable reliable support i should i should get the reliable support where if my material is stuck i am not able to create the invoices so i should call someone they can resolve my problem immediately so that i can release the material so reliable go to go to people or the go to the team it the support has to be very active support what is the industry is required and with this we have onboarded and we have built the team of the core competency 
these team so uh, they are they are from the we have built the team from the sap and the oracle space so those who are having more than 20 years of experience and also the very energetic our team from the frappe framework and the erp next functional consultants they have so with this combination we are implementing the erp so our vision our vision is that we have right from beginning right in the supply chain we are there are the multiple erps takes place when the flow material transaction or any transaction takes place so multiple erps are today it, they are not connected tomorrow it may connect but our vision is that let us start from our customer so at one side we have customer at other side we have supplier if we connect both together we will reduce the time in the transaction we will reduce the errors so we build to connect with supplier we build a supplier portal that is one to connect with customer we build dispatch automation so while doing the dispatches we were facing at our cust customer we were facing the challenges that the wrong dispatch wrong atom code dispatch wrong quantity disp dispatch it was getting dispatched so we thought of having the solution has to be full proof so that we will not make any mistake so why we selected this so the for we have implemented this solution at our customer called fracture in pune so they have six manufacturing locations and the volume of the dispatches is around 8000 boxes in a day we are dispatching and in in a year around 25 lakhs boxes we are dispatching and we have completed one and half year currently with this solutions and it is a error free solutions there is no single box dispatched with wrong quantity or wrong part number it so the solution is very full proof currently so this we have also consider the internal compliances where we have if there are any rejected batches we should be able to take it out the rejected batches also the government compliances with any quantity which is mentioned in the invoices and it has to be full proof and in the vehicle also in between where if any check happens it has to be compliance so this solution takes care of, of all the compliances and also the automation the automation is in the process automation to deskill the deskill the operations so that anyone can use this solution and uh, they can process it so while implementing so the approach of the implementation is that we have created the work order and where work order we in the print format we have created the qr codes and when so the, in in this process so we have captured the two processes when the wip from the shop floor it is getting when the material is created it is getting into the finished stores while doing this just we have to scan it usually the industry problem is that we are today we are not getting the accurate stock what is available how much it is produced and in the shop floor to the planners sitting in the office so what we have done so we have put the qr code on the boxes and just you scan it so that the material entry will happen and material can be once as soon as it is packed we can move it to the fg i am talking here make to stock scenario also we have considered the easiness that the number ranges we have kept it very simple so that we have the work order number it is same uh, the number ranges we have kept so this is where we have done the customization and uh, here the qr code once it is created you can see here the qr code is created in the background and also we can take the print out so we can take the print out and we can paste the paste it in the boxes on the boxes you will find here that the, there are the multiple codes the color codes we have used 
for the boxes and so these are the multiple and the different color codes re represents the variations in the component so this is just to understand for the operators or the workers to color code so that they can identify this component so once it is completed operation is completed now the material will be moved from wip to the fg so while doing this operator has to just scan the qr codes which are created from the uh, in the in the uh, wip so just scan it and you will observe here that at the bottom we have provided the counter so counter it counts the number of boxes and once it is created uh, once the quantity is fulfilled so the one number wise one button will get activated here and that activation the operator will just press the button that my operation is complete the scenario is completed so they can submit the immediately the stock entry is getting submitted so now we have received the material from wip to fg so while going while dispatching once we get the material so another development what we have done is that we have taken the pick list as the planning document and while taking this pick list we have made the development on the pick list so create the pick list scan it and invoice will be gen generated automatically and the government compliance document will be created e invoice and the e way bill both will get created automatically as soon as the pick list is submitted so also we have done some customization in the pick list here and we have also captured this is the custom table we have added here in the pick list as soon once you scan the boxes the data comes and sit here so we have two options while dispatching the material either you can scan either you can scan the entire lot together or you can another option is to have the one by one box you can scan so we have selected in this scenario we have selected scanning the one by one box so you will find here the uh, the material is getting loaded after scanning the box it is getting loaded in the vehicle so the here also the counter we have added once the pick list quantity number of boxes it is updated so this picker he will just submit the button and the invoice will get generated in the background so once it is submitted invoice and the eway bill all the compliance document will get created so we have the for the tracking of the batches we have also added made the customization in which plant it has been produced whether this material it has been picked or not so uh, so while implementing we face some of the challenges here so we have used the current the erp next provided qr code but the challenge was it it was not auto focusing immediately also it it was taking longer time than the expected so we have also we have tried with other handheld devices which are available in the market and those devices we tried with multiple devices but it was not very convenient to the operator to use the use those devices so we have decided to go for no hardware investment because there will be multiple locations in the multiple locations there will be the the hardware will be given there are the problem of the charges and the maintenance of the asset so we decided bring your own device so using our mobile you just log in to the erp next okay so we have created the pick list shortcut on the mobile it works on any any mobile it works open the browser and just scan the boxes once it is completed log out from the mobile that's all so for doing this what we have done we have integrated erp next with dynamsoft library sdk library so this package we have integrated together we are using the qr code dynamsoft library and the data is coming into the erp next 
So the entire package, this now the entire solution, this can be integrated with SAP, Oracle or any existing ERP. So this will sit on top of the, your existing ERP. So we have uh, uh, Gansham Patil, who is a co-founder of Fabture, where we have implemented this solution. So let us hear from him. My name is Ghansham Patil. I am co-founder of Fabture. We have a monthly dispatch requirement of around 200,000 boxes from our uh, multiple units. Uh, we used to face challenges in terms of uh, the quantity of boxes being dispatched and the variants that were dispatched to the customers. So we engaged with Vedat uh, Solutions to uh, find a solution or to foolproof this process and uh, developed uh, the material dispatch automation with QR code with, along with them. Uh, post implementation of the system, uh, most of our problems have been uh, resolved completely. And uh, we have also been able to save uh, man hours in terms of the process and by automating some of the functions that were, were done, being done manually earlier. So this is that we have published this. So this is the open source solution now and we have published it on the GitHub. Thank you. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you.